Martha, quick, close the curtains. He's spying on us again. Oh, Fred, you're just a Snoopy. I want the old neighbors back. Who does he think he is? I should go over and give him a piece of my mind. Oh, Fred, settle down. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. Look at him, Martha. He just stands there, still as a post, looking straight at us. He's up to no good. I can feel it. What does he want from us? Fred remembers the good old days when neighbors were the same old neighbors for many years. He remembers the camaraderie, the friendships that initiated block parties, and the volunteering of community support. However, due to aging demographics and health challenges, the neighborhood has been changing with new residents moving in. This evolution of change scared Fred. He was having trouble dealing with it. Later that day, shielding his eyes from the sun, Fred looked across the street to see if the neighbor was outside or was spying on Fred through his front window. Fred, realizing he was free from the neighbor's spying eyes, he makes a quick decision. Now's the time to mow the front lawn. He gasses up the mower, opens the garage door, pushes the lawnmower under the garage door as fast as he can, and stops when he makes it to the front lawn. He looks across the street. Fred then quickly retreats into the garage. Now what's he up to? That's my lawn chair I threw in the garbage last week. Across the street, by the flower garden, the neighbor sat motionless. His stare seemed to focus on Fred's every movement. Fred decided to mow the lawn regardless of what the neighbor was doing. He could not get over the fact that the neighbor was staring at him. Red-faced with bulging neck veins, Fred steered the lawnmower towards the street. His urgency caused the grass catcher to fly off its supports when the lawnmower got airborne going off the curb. Fred's determined pace slowed as the gap narrowed between himself and the neighbor. The realization of the age of the neighbor became evident, thus reducing the perceived threat. The neighbor's face revealed life's hardships. In fact, he had more scars than wrinkles. That's nice of you, Fred, offering to cut our neighbor's lawn. Martha, he's spying on us. I demand to know what he wants. Sir, please forgive my brother. He means no harm. In our country, we rarely see the sun. There was so much smoke and dust from the bombings. So dark, seldom any brightness. Sorba lost his sight from flying debris while enjoying one accidental sunny day. Not believing the old lady's story, Fred approached the neighbor waving his hands to entice a flinching or blinking reaction. Fred, that's rude. Apologize. Sorba savors the sun. A peaceful pleasure he once enjoyed. The warmth of your sun brightens his soul. Zorba outstretched his hand, offering his friendship. Fred, remembering why his grandparents fled their country, took Zorba's hand. Sorry, my friend. Welcome to the neighborhood. 